lines are on John Joanda and Jennifer Harmon. It's with Tony G. He's been in an awful lot of the earlier hands. Pretty cool. But he seems to have quite, nice. quietened down a little bit. I mean, Six to cool. I mean, she Hard to speed around like in a cash game. Yeah. Well, yeah. expensive I, to speed I, I around in a cash game, especially against the likes of this competition. 18 to cool. You were pretty happy over there. There may be lineups where you can play pretty quick, but this isn't one of them. Phil Ivey's brought it in for 1,800. These two have clashed a couple of hands already. Wow. It's John Joanda and Phil Ivey. 12 to cool. But this time, John's been a little bit clever with his pocket queens. Yeah, he's definitely got the goods here. And cool. And so's Jennifer. This could be a big pot. Why is everyone playing so tight? I'm going to start playing every hand. Seven. Three. Wow, that's a big flop for John. I think he can afford to give a free card, and he has. All three players have checked it. Ten. Wow. Well, and Jennifer Harmon has made her set on the turn. Then it is the third spade. Obviously, you've got to be cautious. It's going to be there. Seat six. You? Gonna be right here. Seat six. Yeah. He worked it out. Well, it's very dangerous for her to flat call to give a free card to a spade, but if she raises it, she could be giving someone uh, a chance to come over the top with a flush. Well, obviously it's tough for Juwanda as well. If she does come over the top, how do you like your top set? Obviously she could have a flush. 18,000 to play. Pass. <laughs> John's just had a quick look. Looks like he's realised there's three spades on the board. 14. Now, obviously, if Juwanda is beat, he knows he has redraw. He has 10 outs. Catch a 3, a 7, a 10, or a queen, he would think. That's if he's up against a flush, yes. Yes. Hard for him to know how good he's in right now. Yeah, he's in a fantastic spot. He just doesn't know it. In a tournament, you might play this one a little bit more cautious than you might in a cash game. Of course, if you get it wrong in a cash game, you can always pull up. Called 14. Well, and John calls. If you want action, you do not want to see a spade. Four. That's a good card for John. Check. Luckily for, uh, luckily for Jennifer Harmon, it did not pair the board. If a three or a seven had come off, we really would have seen fireworks. Yeah, that would have been the end of uh, the stack for Jennifer. Twenty-five, twenty-five thousand to call. The bet is twenty-five thousand from Jennifer. I can't imagine John passing this. No, it, you wonder here. I mean, I think Jennifer Harmon thinks she's value betting. She can't put John Juanda on a flush or top set. Wow, she's managed to get him to lay down top set in this, but he can't think of a hand that she's going to bet the twenty-five thousand with that he can beat. Unbelievable. That but that one goes to the lady. Wow, that was a strong one.